Colon and rectal cancer is the third most prevalent form of cancer and the second most deadly. This year it will claim an estimated 150,000 American lives. However, as Regina Eckel reports, colon and rectal cancer also happens to be one of the most preventable and treatable forms as well. When Richard Benedetto learned that he had colorectal cancer, he feared that it would radically change his life. I have an uncle who has a colostomy, and he, uh, of course, has no problem with living with that every day, but I, that's not something that I wanted to, to have done. In years past, the treatment to remove tumors from the colon and rectum often involved major abdominal surgery, general anesthesia, a lengthy hospital stay, and perhaps even a colostomy. But now, in operations like this one, early stage cancers can be accessed and treated locally using the body's existing opening with much less trauma to the patient. This took about 35-40 minutes to do, uh, not general anesthesia, so patients really pretty much are breathing on their own, much less stress on them and their cardiovascular system and their pulmonary system. Um, and they'll be in the hospital for about 16 hours and go home sometime tomorrow after breakfast. Despite the daunting statistics for colon cancer's incidence and mortality, Dr. Wise says a more proactive approach to early detection and treatment can virtually eliminate the threat. I think it is a pretty much preventable disease. There's a nice thing about colon and rectal cancer is that it, it has a, a form that is pre-malignant. Uh, it has a polyp. Most, of, most cancers come from polyps. So if you can identify a polyp and remove it with a colonoscope, then you've prevented a colon cancer. If everyone would have a colonoscopy by age 45 or 50, uh, I, I, I can't say that colon cancer or rectal cancer would go away, but it would certainly be uh, much less in frequency and probably much earlier uh, in stage and therefore more easily treated. Richard Benedetto is thankful for both the early detection and the improved surgical technique. When I first was diagnosed, that's the first thing, it's, you know, this is going to change my life. Well, it didn't what, did not change it whatsoever. As far as I'm concerned, uh, it was just a little bump in the road. A healthy lifestyle, high fiber diet, and regular exercise all help reduce the risk of colon and rectal cancer, but regular screening, especially for those 45 and older, is the surest way to prevent colon cancer deaths.